Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Bunch of Brittany, guys. Another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to complete week 8 challenges. All of these challenges in under an hour. Because I know there's a lot of people out there that play this game. They're extremely busy and they're so close to getting the Omega skin. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to complete it in under an hour. The fastest way to do all of week 8's challenges. So, that way you guys can get the Omega skin extremely quick. I know that finals week is coming up for a lot of people. Some people might be done and they're in summertime. But, if you don't have that much time to play this game, stay tuned. We're going to give you guys the best tips on how to complete it all in an hour. Now, yes, I actually completed this challenge in under an hour. So you guys can do it even quicker because, again, I was just like a test dummy to this. So I was experimenting the fastest ways for you guys. But now that I can push it out to you guys, some of you can actually complete this faster than an hour with these tips and tricks. So starting off, I'm going to read to you guys what every single challenge is. So deal 250 headshot damage to opponents. Search seven chests in Salty Springs. Search seven chests in a single match. Search seven hungry gnomes. Search between a bear crater and a ref refrigerated shipment and then the last two hard ones are get three suppressed weapon eliminations and eliminate three opponents in pleasant park now starting off with the hardest one it's probably going to be search chest and salty springs this one's probably going to take the most amount of time just because i mean it's it's literally the start of the season or the week i mean and the weekly challenges always at the start are just hectic there's everybody trying to land there everyone's trying to complete these challenges as quick as possible so it's going to be crazy packed at salty springs but with these tips you guys are going to be able to get probably two to three chests knocked out as quick as possible in just one game and then you can go ahead and die and do it again so you only have to find three games in a matter of like under 10 minutes you can complete that challenge under 10 minutes you guys so on screen right now i have an image of exactly every single chest location in salty springs you guys i actually made this image myself now if you guys want to go ahead and pause the video screenshot this so you can see every chest location in salty springs feel free go ahead and do that i didn't leave anything else on screen so that way you guys aren't distracted by anything but as you can see here there are three chests in only two houses the blue house and the tree house basically the house with the tree sitting inside of it so i'm going to show you guys gameplay of exactly what you want to do in the background playing right now is the gameplay of what you exactly want to do now keep in mind when you're landing into the city you guys basically you want to hit the blue house you want to be able to hit it at a perfect angle like i do playing in the background right here so that way you can hit the front door i know a lot of people when they try to land at houses and stuff like that to hit chests they're going to try to land at the roof to try and get the top chest in that roof but that is not what you want to do because because in this gameplay, you guys, in this house, you can actually hit three chests without even going to the roof. There's actually four chests in that house. I forgot about one of them there, but there's three in the basement that you can possibly hit. So first thing you want to do, Kin, as you guys can see in the gameplay, is literally go inside there, scare everyone off right away, go straight to the basement and open up that first chest, break those boxes, go to the very bottom layer, and then hopefully sometimes you'll end up finding two chests there. Once you loot those, that's already three chests in that one match. Now, hopefully you can get lucky, try and get out of there and see if there's one in the roof now sometimes there might be but again with the season or the week just starting the challenges are going to be crazy which means there's going to be a lot of people there so your possibilities are very low so don't try and fight it out i mean you can if you want but if you're trying to do this as quick as possible it's okay to die once you search those three chests let yourself die so that way it actually counts you cannot back out of the game if you back out it does not count so make sure you die and then instantly spawn in again at the next map and try to do the same exact thing again you can do this three times hit three chest and you can complete this in under 10 minutes you guys but now with the hardest one taken out of the way now this doesn't mean by difficulty as in hard i mean the longest time so basically that one probably is going to take the most time out of your day so search seven chests in a single match a lot of people are going to think this is hard especially if you're not good at the game and you don't make it that far in the game it's going to be hard for you to find seven matches or chests without dying because everyone's going to be searching other chests and by the time you find another one maybe someone kills you or something like that so seven in one game that one's going to be pretty difficult but how you guys can actually do this one a little secret and a little technique is go to flush factory not everyone knows about this this is a secret nobody ever goes to flush factory i mean that place is usually dead sometimes you're going to catch people going there but there is a lot of chests there actually i have an image on screen right now this picture right here exactly shows where every single chest location is in flush factory so if you guys want to pause the game right now and actually screenshot this so that way you can actually see every chest location you guys can basically hit i think there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve there's like 13 chest locations at flush factory so again 
even if they don't all spawn there, there's at least guaranteed going to be seven there, especially if no one's landing there because it's a very dead spot. There's no challenges that tell people to go to Flush Factory. So I still think Flush Factory is going to be empty. That's exactly where I went, and I literally did it in one game. So again, that took me five minutes maybe so sometimes you may get people to go there it really depends on where the battle bus goes if it's a far stretch where you're actually stretching it out really far to get to flush factory that's what you want to do because that's when nobody ever will go there and a lot of people are going to be going to salty springs or any other places like that to try to do the other challenges so again that one seems pretty hard but it's actually pretty easy if you do that tip right there but with those two out of the way, we're just going to hit these normally. So deal headshot damage to an opponent. We're supposed to deal 250 headshot damage. That's actually not that much. You could probably get that within killing two people by just dealing shotgun headshot damage or a sniper to the head. Sometimes your sniper alone will deal, I think, 240 damage to somebody. So even if you headshot someone with a gold bolt, you can literally knock it out in one try. But my best tip for you guys on this one is to play with a friend. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't really have friends to play with when you're trying to knock this out quick because you don't have that. That much time so down in the comment section below i want you guys to all spam what system you're on either it's the switch mobile ps4 xbox uh pc whatever system you play on and then next to it write your gamer tag so that way you guys can hit each other up in the comment section below and i will be sending some of you guys some messages so again leave down your gamer tag and stuff like that down in the comment section below so that way we can all team up and help each other out but if you can't find anyone at all my suggestion is to go into the final fight the new game mode final fight five teams with 20 that way you team up with random people or do squads fail stick with your teammates now the reason i'm saying this is because when somebody gets knocked even if they're knocked on the floor you can deal headshot damage to them just like that so it's very easy even if someone's knocked and you don't have to really stress out too much run up to that person thirst him and pull out your shotgun or something aim for his head and shoot him you're gonna deal like 200 damage to the person and that's all it takes for you to get that out of the way now on to the next one is search between a bear crater and refrigerated shipment guys i have a video on that one if you don't know exactly where that one is it's literally i made a video yesterday if you guys want to check that out it's very easy it's like a two minute video so that way you can literally just watch it real quick and find out where the location Location is so that way you're not having to watch a whole 10 minute video so if you're only here for that go ahead and watch that video It'll help out a lot now suppress weapon eliminations this is the next one guys this one is going to be a little difficult just because sometimes it's hard on finding a suppressed weapon so if you can't find a suppressed weapon that one might be a little hard but again playing in like squads or anything like that even if you knock somebody with a assault rifle or a shotgun or anything like that pull out your suppressed SMG or suppressed pistol or anything like that and finish them off with the suppressed weapon it counts as an eliminator elimination and you don't have to sit there and stress because you have a gray smg and everyone's dogging you with shotguns and stuff like that so again make sure to play in squads or anything like that it makes these challenges a lot easier now the last one is eliminate opponents in pleasant park this one is going to be pretty difficult it's, it really depends on your skill on how long this is going to take if you're not good at the game the best tip that i can give you guys is literally camp camp as long as you can camp inside of a house find a shotgun once you get a shotgun just sit there quietly hopefully set up a trap or anything like that and just wait wait till someone runs through the door shoot them with a shotgun or something like that or if you hear gunshots run up to those people that are shooting at each other and try to go kill them both try to take their kills because they're not expecting somebody else to come they're expecting just a one-on-one -on -one fight between them and that other person but if you come in out of nowhere with an assault rifle on a roof you can literally gun them down that easy so those are my best tips on the pleasant park ones that one's really really depends on each person each person is going to be different on that one um some people are going to knock it out in literally one game which is that's exactly what i did i knocked that one out in one game so it was very fast very easy i did it in under five minutes so we're doing these challenges within like 45 minutes to 30 minutes so it really depends on how quick you can actually back out and find a new game now the last but not least the hardest one the bread on all butter that might take the longest is find hungry gnomes now guys this one is going to be a little difficult because you're going to have to probably do this at the very end that's why i'm covering this last because this is the last challenge that i ended up doing because the other ones were things that i wanted to just knock out and their priority i wanted to get them out the way but on screen right now you guys are going to see on screen right now you guys are going to see the exact gnome location so you guys can actually watch this pause the gameplay if you want take a screenshot so that way you and your friend can literally run around the map and find these gnomes for yourself this one is going to take the longest one just because they're all over the map so sometimes i mean you can knock some of them out here and there as you're doing the other challenges so that's exactly what i did sometimes but i didn't finish this one until the very end just because they weren't all exactly where i needed them to be 
But with that being said, you guys, that is how I completed all of week eight challenges in under an hour. It literally took me 45 to 60 minutes long. So some of you guys can actually do this a little bit faster. Just let me know down in the comment section below how fast you did it. And with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. That way I can cover this every week to help you guys out the best I can every single week for the challenges. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.